Okay, morning guys. This is Miss Hazel back with you now. So what I'm going to talk to you about now, okay, is makeup that I like personally on myself now, okay? Alright, my dear is in the description box below and so are links to other playlists, okay? I made plenty of videos on brands, yeah? <laughs> Lines within them brands and products they carry. But now it's my turn. So what do I like? for budget makeup yeah or even you show me the makeup in general if i lost the whole face or even what would i go and select myself now okay what would i go and select for myself now so what do i like okay so you show me thing like the foundation yeah what is my favorite foundation my favourite foundation is the Max Factor Facefinity Foundation, and it's a liquid, come in a glass bottle, yeah? Say why you like it, yeah? Well, I like that foundation because I can, for myself, okay, so I am really like to wear foundation on my face, yeah? I really like to wear that, okay? But this, yeah, I like, uh... I like the I like the I like the shade range for myself. Yeah. Okay. I like that shade range for myself and I like the formula of it and um I like how I can apply it, yeah, with my hands. That's my favorite way to apply it with my hands, make it sheer. I like foundation that make the skin sheer. I don't always apply foundation with a brush. And I apply various foundations, yeah, at different times. But I don't really, really wear that, yeah? But that one's my favourite, yeah? Okay. That one's my favourite because I like to bronze up the face, yeah? And that one work well, yeah? That one blends well for me into my skin, okay? And is to be honest with you, it's the only drugstore one, yeah, that does... Well, the Max Factor Foundations, they're the only ones that do it for me. They're the only ones, to be honest with you. Do I even like any higher-end foundation? No. No, I don't like it. Say so why that is, yeah? Well, a lot of them, yeah. Okay. On me, yeah. Well, it depends, innit, yeah? So whatever with that, innit, yeah? But I like the formula. I like how it's not too thick. I like how it's not too thick and it blends easy into my skin. And my skin tone, yeah. Well, I can get a rather... It depends where I'm at with my hair, my health, etc. But I like to get this bronzed look. Yeah. I like to get this bronzed look. And that one in particular. Shall I say what shade I use, yeah? I use the 55 beige. I use that, okay, all right, I use that, and um, when it's warmer as well, yeah, I like golden, but I like golden in the, I like the golden in the, in the miracle touch, that come with the little sponge, and that one I actually do like putting on with the sponge, yeah. I like dabbing it over the face, pressing it in, yeah? I don't really like foundation, yeah, on my skin to look like foundation, yeah? Sometimes I like it for an evening look, a little full makeup look, a little little kind of <laughs> natural-esque full makeup look, yeah? Blended, yeah? A blended full makeup look. But other than that, yeah... I don't like the way it cover the face too much. But, uh, yeah, I like that, yeah, when it get hot. Golden. I think it's 75 golden. I use that. Yeah. And uh, he's showing me not really having to bronze that one up. That one I don't really have to bronze up, yeah, on myself. And is there any others from there I really like? No. Nah. That's about it. I used to use their pan sticks, yeah? Okay. I used to use their pan sticks. But 
actually, yeah, I'd rather try a stick from Bobby Brown now, yeah, okay, and use that, yeah, if I just want to do a little bit of covering on the eyes and the centre of the face, shall we say, yeah, and that's what I learned from there, mm. yeah, because as well, they put the makeup, they don't really like the primer, yeah, I said to you, yeah, and I like to just keep the skin nice, really, and then there's no need for that, you know. But sometimes I'm just feeling it, yeah? Okay? All right. Is that about it from there? Show me other, the other foundation. Well, I purchased another foundation in a different shade, in a caramel shade now. <laughs> and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that, yeah? And it's a completely different formula as well, yeah? Kind of. I don't know. <laughs> We're set in a different way, shall we say. Yeah? So I tried various shades of their foundation. Yeah? All right? On myself. And they're the ones I love personally. Yeah? <laughs> my turn. My turn. Okay. So we should talk about the powder and stuff. No, I don't like any of the powder. <laughs> I don't like any of the powder either. I don't really like that on my face clogs my pores I don't like powdery finish on makeup so I don't like any of the powders none of it if if you did go for a powder again what would you go for I would go to Mali Beauty and I'd go and get the cream translucent powder yeah it's a cream I'd go and repurchase that how would you put that on I'll do it how, like, she do it, yeah? You can put it on with your hands, yeah? But I would probably, like... What would you say? A bit of both? No, I'd use the little sponge here as well, and I'd, like, press it on to not, yeah, mess with the blend of the other makeup. i press it on a little bit, yeah, for a bit of hold. That's what i do. But really over the foundation, yeah? Not really on anything else. That's what i do. <laughs> How interesting, my own face, yeah? <laughs> now you show me stuff like, what do you think about the concealer? I don't like really any concealer at the drugstore, yeah? On myself, like, I use... <laughs> you show me L'Oreal True Match, yeah? L'Oreal True Match, yeah? That was the only one I really liked under my eyes. That was the only one I liked under my eyes. And why did I like that under my eyes? Well, when I was changing my hair colour, it was just easy to find myself something to make my under eye brighter, yeah? Highlighting the centre of the face, yeah? And I, look, I didn't look very well as well, and that made me look well, yeah? It actually brightened my under eye, yeah, going a, uh, yeah, shade lighter, yeah? Yeah, for brightening, yeah, I'd say, yeah. I don't really like to do excessive coverage under the eye. My under eye is not really... I don't really have the dark circles, yeah, okay? I don't really have that. I don't really have that. But, yeah, with health and fitness, I want my under eye to look awake and more brightened. Brightened, and I had the, yeah, sleep issues, yeah. That, that's the only one I really do like, but <laughs> would I go and purchase another one and start putting it on? Nah, nah, but if I was changing my hair colour, yeah, and I just wanted to, or show me being real sick, yeah, real changing my hair colour, innit? Then, yeah, to brighten my complexion a little, yeah, and in an expensive way, then, then I'd get one of them, yeah, I'd choose a... I choose a shade and the shade would vary, yeah. And then what else do I like from the drugstore? What are you showing me now? You show me blusher, yeah? No, I don't really like the blusher. I don't really like the blusher, yeah. On myself. There's various things I do with the blusher, yeah. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just going in there, yeah, popping in there, must haves, yeah, for me. Blusher, yeah. <laughs> Blusher, yeah. 
na 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 well they well you show me them yeah the only blusher yeah that i really did like on my face from there that suited me okay like pretty much all the time yeah the makeup i'm telling you about suited me pretty much all the time whatever age i was yeah okay ish and my and health concern, yeah. Health concern mainly, yeah. Health concern mainly. But Maybelline now, yeah. I think it was Maybelline. They did this cream blush, yeah. It was like dream cream blush. And it was in an apricot colour. It was apricot. They do one in like a peach, yeah. Was it peach, yeah? Peach, yeah. And that was the only one, yeah, that I liked to put on and blend in my skin. Yeah, and I like to rub it a bit on my nose to make it look a bit more real. And even around the chin, I used to do that, yeah. <laughs> Things like that, but really, I just like it a little bit on the cheek, a little bit on the nose. Yeah, shall we mix with a tan, yeah. Mix with a tan. Really, this time of the year, yeah kind of like this products would you say all all the time of the year yeah all year actually i could do something with these products on my skin and get the look that i like should I say what like what look i like again yeah well i like i like a natural look and i like a look that look tattooed yeah like you've had you you make up bladed on yeah like it's been bladed on that's the look I like. Yeah, and I use various techniques and methods to apply these uh, basics, yeah, on my skin and face, complexion, yeah. So what do I like here yeah, from the... Do you think I should say that to them, yeah? Yeah, so if you like this look as well, yeah, I've spoken loads about other people, all right? But if you do, yeah, look somewhat like me. Because <laughs> you know what it's like, yeah? Sometimes people do that, innit, yeah? They like to see, like, what was she wearing? She got a similar, yeah? This or that, yeah? Eye colour, it could be anything, innit? But maybe you look like me. Maybe you like that tattooed look of effect as well. Should I say that as well, yeah? I've had people that didn't even look like me, didn't look anything like me, but maybe they have a similar feature, a similar concern, and they're like, hmm, maybe I'll try that. Yeah? Okay. You saying I liked it as well, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, just depends, innit? <laughs> depends on you, yeah? You can go watch the Barbie Teresa playlist for that. That's what I made it for, innit? I made it for you. Yeah? And me. But, yeah, me now, yeah? Me, me, yeah? All right, so I like that one. And then, mm, what else do I love, yeah, there from my face? Bronzer now, yeah. Well, I don't really like the bronzers there. <laughs> I don't like the bronzers there either. There's only really, like, I don't like it when bronzer are too orangey. I like it to look like contour, yeah. I like it to look like tan, yeah, contour. But... The only, the only bronzer that's more orange tone that I do like, yeah, Sunkist, yeah, Sunkist, and they don't even do that in the drugstore. They don't even do that in the drugstore. I think you can get that online, yeah, Sunkist. I think you can get that on Amazon, yeah. You just got to be careful when you get powders and things delivered. You show me bronzing pearls, yeah. Yeah, the little pearls, yeah, when they're like mixed with like a variation of yeah gold and brown and pink bronzing pearls from sunkist though that's the only one i do like that's orangey otherwise i like to mix it up i like to mix it up with other blush to make yeah the tan look more real or give a different effect but sunkist bronzing pearls yeah i like them i like them and then what else do I use? Do you want me to talk more about the pearls, yeah? The pearls, yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you put swell your brush in it, yeah, because all the pearls run everywhere. 
Yeah, let it give more of a natural tonal effect. Mm. Oh, sorry, I had to stretch her. Yeah, let it give more of a natural tonal effect. Um, what else do I like? Yeah, it's sheer, innit, yeah? It's more sheer, yeah? See, that have big orange streaks on your face, yeah? <laughs> all powdery, it's not all powdery, it's light, yeah? And it lasts ages, that product lasts a long time as well, yeah? Okay. That product lasts quite a long time. Yeah. Do you think so? Wow, it's like that on my complexion, isn't it? So what about the contour now, yeah? Is there anything else really about Sunkist? Show me things like that. they do. They do things like that, yeah. Mixture of that. That would be an interesting, yeah, budget buy. Yeah, the ones that you know how some of these, yeah, blushes they come mixed with the highlight, the bronze, and the blush. That's one that I would try. I would try one from Sunkist, yeah. I'd give that a go. What do you think? It's up to you, innit? I'll try that, yeah. I'll try that actually. So I don't like the look of the rest of them in the drugstore. Yeah. And it's inexpensive. I don't wanna I don't wanna use that all the time. Yeah, so I like my I like to use contour kits to bronze my face. Cause it just looked more natural and I love the sleek one, yeah. Sleek, they do this duo, yeah. And what shade do I get that in? I get that in the light shade, yeah. Get that in the light shade. And that's a powder I do like on my face, but I even like to mix that with the highlighter still. Yeah. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I use it. I don't really use the highlight as a... Yeah. I don't mind to get the colour mixed in that. I dip my brush in both, because sometimes I like to mix the colours for the perimeter of my face. Sometimes I like to just dust the contour powder over for a little veil and a little setting that's a little bronzed and take it down the neck and the chest. Yeah, the decolletage. And contour a little bit like that, yeah. Especially if I'm going for even and out, contour a little bit in my breasts, yeah. Okay, to get them shadow, get them a little bit more volume, yeah. Get them a little more contour, a little more shadow. I like to do that, I take it down my arms, make my arms look a little more toned. I do the same with the highlight as well. I put the highlight on the collarbones. I put the highlight on the, yeah, the arms. But I don't really like it. Um, the only place I really like the highlight then, yeah, is over my eyes. And I even in the crease of my eyes, my eyes start hooding, yeah. And um, before my eyes started, when, when my eye wasn't hooding as much, yeah, I'd put the contour in my eye socket, yeah. But I don't really do that now, yeah, not with powder. But that's the one I like, innit? Sleek contour kit. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful bronzed face, yeah. That's what I like in full makeup, yeah. And even show me a romantic look. A romantic look. A bronzed look. Yeah. And a tattooed look, yeah. But I still like the tattooed look, yeah. Like it's been, yeah? Like it's still natural, yeah? Bladed on. Even in all them looks. You know what I'm saying? Is there any other look I really like? Show me one more, yeah? Show me one more classic, yeah? Yeah, show me the 90s look, yeah? Yeah, I like it to look quite 90s. But I like a variation of these, yeah? I like a variation of these, uh... I don't just do like one full face 90s look, yeah. Kinda, yeah. The 90s one I would. But it's more like romantic look or more bronze look. Uh, do them, yeah. I do them, yeah. And <laughs> still incorporate the other products, yeah. Still like, I like using the, these products for all these looks. Exactly. This is like my makeup bag, yeah. So, what do I like then for the. Show me the lips then. At this point, I'll take it to the lips. What do I like on the lips? Lip liners, yeah. 
I do like a lip liner that stay on, yeah. But I have to be honest with you. So what, what am I using at the moment, yeah? Because this my lips, my lips and lip colour always changing. My lip and lip colour always changing. I couldn't wear berry blush, yeah. Okay, forever. What do you think about that now? Do you think I could still wear that? Mm, kind of. L'Oreal Berry Blush, yeah. That was a lipstick I wore for years in the colour reach range. But then when I got onto like lip liner, yeah, <laughs> I didn't care for that. That was a lipstick I did like about lip liner. But I am really uh nah I'm not really feeling that yeah. Like the lip liner, like have lip liner dry down a bit and give me full lip. Well at the moment I'm using the MYX, yeah, and I'm using that in nude, yeah, I believe. Just nude, yeah. And it's the name of the one I'm using. And um, I'm using that with a Green People lip primer. And I like that, yeah. I think I'll, I'd repurchase that, yeah. But other lip liners I want to try now. There is a few out there I want to try. I want to try Joan Crawford, yeah. Joan Collins, Joan Collins, yeah. What do you think about them? You don't think so? Showing me Elizabeth Arden, yeah. Elizabeth Arden. Elizabeth Arden do lip liner. It's not that expensive, yeah. But I like the look of it. I like the look of their shades and tones, yeah. I like the look of this, yeah. I might try some from there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, lips, lipstick and other lip products. No, 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 no. If I want something like, what would you do now? Well, I'll just go to the Barbie Teresa playlist, yeah? All right. <laughs> and I'll just be like, oh, I need to get that there for that. Like, I know where to get something now, yeah? For my face, innit? You know what I mean? Yeah, or something else I'm doing, yeah? Mmm. Mmm. Show me lip gloss, yeah. Would I go and purchase any more lip gloss at the drugstore, yeah? This is it. This is if I went in there, had to have it, had to have it now, yeah? Lip gloss, yeah? You're showing me them, yeah? Collection lip gloss, yeah. Natural collection. Yeah, I'd probably purchase one from Natural Collection. Why? Because they're shimmery. They're not too glittery. And they have, like, shade that match that makeup. That's a little bit more... Show me, like, buttercream kind of-ish. Little buttercream looking. Little buttercream looking. And I wouldn't be afraid of any of their shades. It, it wouldn't be hard for me to select one from there. It just wouldn't be difficult. Yeah. So I'd probably end up picking that up. Yeah, it's inexpensive and I don't mind it. The wand, yeah. <laughs> don't mind the wand over the other lipstick, yeah. It wouldn't bother me, yeah, so much, yeah. I'd do that. Okay. You show me eyes, yeah? Then I'd go to the eyebrows, yeah? What would I pick for the eyebrows? You laughing. Well, I would not pick the same stuff for the eyebrows that I did. I wouldn't, yeah? I wouldn't. I wouldn't this time. What would I really pick from there? You show me Rimmel, yeah? I would go to Rimmel and pick something from there for brows say why that is yeah more natural looking on me you show me their wax and that no nah, man wouldn't get the wax from there show me the eyebrow pencil though nah that, i wouldn't get that now yeah i'd probably get something like uh you show me the gel yeah what do you think yeah i'd probably get that eyebrow gel and use that, yeah, for a little lift and that. But, 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 
I like these fork tip now, make micro bladed felt it pens because they fill my brow in with ease, yeah. They brush it through, they fill it in for my concern, innit? And I like the dark brown colour. <laughs> brunette forever, yeah. A brunette forever. And then some. <laughs> and then some, baby. Yeah. And then some. That's what I like now. Yeah, bladed style felt tip pen. Got another one of them to show you, yeah. Yeah, that's me now, yeah. <laughs> that's me till it ain't, babes. Mm. Yeah, I like the dark brown colour in my bra. Alright then. What else? Mm. Show me more on eyes. More on brows, yeah. <laughs> what really else would I get my brows? Show me tweezers, yeah. If I had to pick tweezers up. Well, I would never shop for tweezers in the same way, but if I had to get some tweezers, I thread my brows now, innit? But I'd pick up ones from Tweezerman for a budget. Yeah, tweezer now. That's where I'd get mine from. Mm -mm. Show me them with a light as well, yeah? Where well, I Tweezerman, yeah, for a standard, standard set of tweezer, yeah? Standard. Oh, I'd probably just buy the tweezer, yeah. Maybe I'd look at their other tools, but tweezer them. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. What do you think about it? Show me this stuff like eyelash curlers, yeah. You're laughing. No, I won't pick up any of their eyelash curlers. The only eyelash curlers that I like here yeah, are MAC. They're the only ones I like. You show me stuff like Shiseido, yeah. What do you think of them? Well, the thing is, yeah, the, the, the eyelash curlers I like, they're called half eyelash curlers. And they're from MAC and they, they, they're good for small eye or you just want to get the corners. And I only really like, yeah, to, yeah, lift the corners. I like to lift the corner because, yeah, I've got that hooded eye and I just think it looked beautiful even before I had that hooded eye. Yeah, that fluttery butterfly effect. The butterfly effect, baby. MAC half eyelash curler. Just on the, yeah, the corners. They're the only eyelash curler I lack. They're the ones I'd have to have. Okay. All right. How interesting tools as well, yeah. Mm. You, show me, you show me a big powder brush as well, yeah. Yeah, I'd have to have a big powder brush. Where would I get that from? Rituals. Would I really get one from the drugstore now? Would I really get one from the drugstore? No, I don't like any of their powder brushes in there. Yeah, for this makeup. For this makeup, I don't. I wouldn't get that, yeah. I don't get that. What did I think of them? Show me real techniques, yeah? No, I didn't like their brushes. I didn't like their brushes, man. All right. All right. But there's plenty of inexpensive brushes, yeah, that are good. But for me, it would have to be one large powder brush. If I had one brush, it would have to be that. Yeah. And a little, and a little kabuki eyeshadow brush. Yeah. That I'd get from the drugstore. Show me Elf, yeah? Yeah, pick something like that up from Elf. Like a little... Yeah, Kabuki style. Yeah. I shall brush for going into the... Yeah. Crease, yeah? Or even running... More for the crease, yeah? I'd more use that foot colour in the crease. Mm. And then for the for the powder brush, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably end up just going and seeing what's that rich wolves in it, yeah. They got a range of body brushes, stuff like that. Or I just get something. I even just like something inexpensive, yeah, with a black handle. You know? 
something like that, yeah? A red. But I don't like anything too flimsy, yeah, or too small. I like it to be uh, quite large, yeah? But for what I'm talking about, yeah, so so jumbo, yeah? <laughs> no, not quite jumbo, jumbo, but large, innit? All right. <laughs> Mm. We still on eyes here. Yeah. I'd mix these with a lot of designer makeup too, yeah. So for my eyes, I like the MAC Paint, but I know it's supposed to be the Budget Beauty. We call this something else, isn't it? I like the MAC Paint Pots. I like them. I like the way they conceal the eye, yeah, ready for further contouring and highlighting, yeah, and just because, in it, But especially further contouring and highlighting. That really cover up the vein and discoloration and stuff. And my shade is Soft Ochre. Soft Ochre, yeah. That stuff beautiful, yeah. Mmm. Soft Ochre, MAC Paint Pot. What do I like for the eyeshadow now? For me, yeah, I'm not really fit. Show me Milani, yeah. I'll try a palette from Milani then, yeah, in like lilac for a colour. Yeah. Say where that is. Cause it looked pretty. It look, I like my colour eyeshadow, yeah. Not necessarily all the time, but generally if I wore a colour, I want it to look pretty and princessy. And then green now, yeah. I do like green, but there's only one green I'll wear, yeah. Alright. Okay, over again, shall we say. Over and over again. And that's Mac Sumptuous Olive. And that's an olive colour with gold flecks in it. And that made my brown eyes look beautiful. And it matched my makeup beautiful and it looked beautiful on my complexion. That's the one I'd go back to over and over again. What are you showing me now? Mascara, yeah? Show me more eyeshadow. Show me smoky eyeshadow. <clears throat> more smoky eyeshadow. Would I really... Is there anything I'd really have to have there? Well, I've got a Lancome palette at the moment, yeah? Okay, for a sexy look, yeah? But smoky eyeshadow. Oh, you show me them, yeah? You laughing, yeah? Mac, yeah? Mac Club. Mac Club, yeah? That there, that's got undertones of red and green in it, yeah? And I put that on, yeah, with a... It's like a smudging brush, yeah? It's like a smudging brush. You know, like an eye eyeliner, but kind of... It's an eyeliner brush, yeah? Pencil kind of brush, yeah? Is that fair to say, yeah? You show me Mac one oh nine, yeah. I know, yeah. It's it's it's, it's, an, it's a well, an eyeliner is shud, um, smudgy brush, yeah. Okay, eyeliner smudgy brush, satin firm, yeah. And that, yeah, I just put on the outer cor corners again and smoke the out. I just put a little bit of smoke out. That's enough for me. Mac Club. You don't like eyeliner. You don't like smoky eyes, innit? Depend, innit? But where well, I like that myself, innit? That's a banging, that's banging, yeah. I'd repurchase that 100%. I'd repurchase that 100%. I'm interested to try nylon from there as well, yeah. Nylon is supposed to be like a blanding highlighter, yeah. Like a proper popping highlight, Popping highlight, yeah. Like a popping highlighter. A bright, bright highlighter. Yeah. Bright highlighter. What colour that in? <laughs> well, nylon, in it, yeah? Nylon. Nylon. Look a little goldish, yeah? Look a little goldish. But white gold. It's like white gold, yeah? Kinda. Kinda, yeah? Don't know, in it? I'd have to purchase one, in it, and let you know what I think about that. You show me making a quad from there, yeah? You showing me that as well, yeah? Expensive pink. What do you think about this? No. No, Mac Sumptuous Olive, Mac Club, Nylon. 
and it's showing me stuff like their browns here. Yeah? Showing me stuff like soft brown, yeah. Sure, there's another one, yeah. Show me that blue. Mmm. Mmm. Another Mac eyeshadow. What other one would I really get? You show me stuff like amber lights, yeah. Amber lights like a gold, yeah. You, you, sh gosh, amber lights, yeah. No, you show me patina, yeah. Patina. I'd be interested in trying patina. Don't think amber lights would be right for me, innit? I think that's. I think that'd be too gold for me. I think that look good on green eyes, yeah. Not all the time, but for me, yeah, no, no, no. Now, patina, though, yeah, quite interested in this. Looks like kind of aged copper, yeah, a little bit more green copper, yeah, exactly. That's about it, yeah. Show me another one. Yeah, I'm sure there's more, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's more, but ones that I'd really spend the money on, yeah. Is there really anything else from there, yeah? Show me beauty marked, yeah. Well, they do this one called beauty marked. That might make me a six palette, yeah. They do one called beauty marked, and it's like a glittery kind of purplish black and i don't really like purple like that on my eyes but i'm always tempted yeah because i like the purple but that yeah use that as a little smoky yeah a little smoky or a little lid shade yeah and it's as a lid shade yeah yeah beauty marked yeah show me one more yeah show me orb yeah show like a white yeah I love white eyeshadow, man. Orb, yeah. Is there any others? Orb, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to try orb. That's another highlighty shade. A little bit more white, yeah. Kind of, yeah. I might try these eyeshadows from MAC now, yeah. Get me a six palette, something like that, yeah. Is there any others? No. Nah, that's it, innit? That's it, innit? What's my favourite lip liner from MAC now? Well, I used to always wear Spice, innit? I used to always wear Spice. Always, always. Listen, I didn't take that thing off. I slept in it. <laughs> I went everywhere in that thing. I went everywhere in that lip liner. That lip liner did not come off my face. That lip liner became part of my DNA. MAC Spice, yeah? <laughs> I love that. Supermodel looking. It look, it look like a freaking supermodel. I look like a supermodel in that lip liner. <laughs> well, I felt like one. I felt like one. But it weren't for the, it was for the night look. It was more for the night look. What do I think about buying that again? Yeah, I'd buy that again. I'd buy that again. I don't care what you think, in it, spirit. I love that lip liner. You're laughing. Well, I'll try something from Elizabeth Arden now, yeah. Try something from there now, but... um, What do I like, then, for... That's eyeshadow, yeah. Mascara now, yeah. Do I like eyeliner? Do, do I really like freaking eyeliner, yeah. <laughs> would I really have to have that, should I say? I like using the shadows as the liners. But a fell tip liner, show me Milani, yeah? Yeah, I'd try a fell tip liner from Milani. I'd try that, yeah. Yeah, for the tattooed look and even just because, in it, All looks, yeah, really. Just because, like, I, would, I, would, I would try that. It's good to have a liner, yeah. Sometimes you can do various things with it, yeah, on the eyes. You can do filling, yeah, stuff like that, but that's the one I'm interested in, isn't it? Now you show me mascara. Where the only mascara, yeah, well, there's only two, yeah. 
There's only two that I'd really have to have, yeah. Okay, the first one is Max Factor Masterpiece Max, and that's in black brown. That's in black brown. And for a waterproof one, yeah, Lancome Hypnose Doll Eyes. And is that it, yeah? That's it, guys. That's what I like on my face, innit? Personally, okay? And yeah, if you're interested in sharing some of that makeup, yeah, you look like myself, yeah? Something like that, I don't know, yeah? Okay? You can give that a go, yeah? But yeah, that's what I like, innit? Alright, see you later.